Hey, in today's video I am going to share 17 mistakes I made on my filmmaking journey and I see many others do as well. I want you to learn from my mistakes so that you don't repeat them. So without further ado, let's jump right in to mistake number one, which is probably the most common one I see people make all the time. And it's having the microphone too far away from the source. So right now I'm wearing a lavalier, so the distance is not a problem. But what I see is that many record a video with a directional microphone, they leave it mounted on their camera, they move 2-3 to three meters away to record the video, and this results in dramatically lowering the audio quality and also creating a lot of reverb. The solution is simple, invest into a boom pole stand, a longer cable, bring that microphone closer, point it at around 45 degree angle, around 30-50 to 50 centimeters away from mouth to keep it just out of the frame. And even without any editing, the voice will immediately sound more richer and professional. Mistake number two, overdoing slow motion. And it can start to annoy your audience very fast. Less is more, so try to be selective and only slow-mo only the most epic shots. And this will make them stand out even more. Also keep in mind that slow motion doesn't fit in every vibe into every story. So think about that as well. Mistake number three is not investing into good lights earlier in your career. When buying gear, we often get obsessed with the latest camera model and lenses, but the fact is that lighting is what sets the overall mood of a scene. It can completely transform your image. If your lighting sucks, there is no camera that can fix it. But you can make a scene look very professional, even if you use the cheapest DSLR on the market, but you light it properly. And I've actually created an in-depth tutorial about cinematic lighting that you can watch for free on filmmakerbegins.com. Okay, moving on to mistake number four, which is making sure that your talent or the main object is in focus. Use whatever tools you have available to make sure that they are in focus. Zoom into the picture, use focus picking. If you're not sure if they are in focus, repeat the take if you can. Just make sure that the image is tech sharp because otherwise it's not gonna look professional. At mistake number five, we go back to audio because it's not setting the record level settings properly. It's either too high and it's peaking, it's gonna sound horrible, or your audio levels are too low which means that you will have to raise them a lot in post and you will lose some quality so just try to stay between minus 18 to minus 6 decibels because that's the safe zone use headphones to monitor it because audio jack can unplug wind can start blowing lavalier can start rubbing against the clothes and trust me Fixing audio in post is not fun. Mistake six is over or underexposing your image. I was usually guilty of underexposing because I was afraid of losing detail in the highlights and then I had to raise my exposure and shadows a lot in post, resulting in a grainy image. But the fact is that the camera exposure meter is not 100% reliable, so the solution is to learn how to read histogram, waveform, whatever the tools you have available, graphs don't lie and they will help you nail exposure every time. Mistake seven is poor composition. And this could be having too much of that space around your talent, no depth in the image, distractions in the background or boring background, poor camera angle choices and there are so many more. The simplest advice I can give you is when you're composing an image, ask yourself what you want your audience to immediately focus on and also google the rule of thirds what that is and use it as a reference. Mistake 8. Not paying attention to what your subject is wearing. And the specific thing I have in mind is the color of their clothes. If it's the same color as the background, your subject won't pop out dark background, have your subject wear bright clothes. Simple as that. And I also want you to memorize the color wheel, because the colors that are on the opposite side of each other create contrast. So if you are filming a subject on grass with green background, the easiest way to make them pop out of the image is to make them wear clothes with red tones. But there is another point to have in mind, different colors subconsciously create different emotions. And this is a broad topic, it depends from the scenario to scenario, so we'll talk about it in another video. Mistake 9 is weird color cast. Because of poor white balance choice. Memorize this chart, it's the filmmaking bible, please just learn this chart and memorize it. Mistake 10, too shaky footage. This is how I hold the camera for smoother handheld shots. I also hold my breath during takes to avoid doing small shakes. Hopefully the takes are not too long. So only use the shaky footage for specific stylistic reasons, like fighting scenes. Mistake 11, not placing the sun behind your subject. They're looking directly into the camera, can't even open their eyes, 
But the fact is that the sun behind them will actually create a nice halo effect and you can use a bouncer to light them from the front. Mistake 12 is overshooting. Creating too much of repetitive content because you didn't plan, write a shot list. And yes, I know if you're filming an event, a wedding or something like that, it's a different story. But even there, once you gain more experience, you will know exactly when you have enough footage and what is still missing. However, another thing I want to mention here is that make sure that you did create enough of different content that will help you tell a story in the edit. So by overshooting, I mean having too much of the same looking content. 13 is the lucky number, so now we are moving on to name a few of the editing mistakes. The most common one I see is creating too long intros that just don't hook the audience into watching your video. My advice is to put some of your best shots first to convince the viewer to watch the rest of your video. Having five second long logo animations and then another five seconds long boring scene is not gonna work. You have a split second to capture attention. Just watch your friend or pause next time when they are scrolling through the feed and try to identify what makes them stop on post and implement that in your work. 14. Overusing newly learned effect. I did this with the zoom transition presets back in the day and glitches, all of that. So yeah, I know it's super exciting to learn about new effect, but ask yourself if it fits into the story and edit and use it selectively. Mistake 15 is not color correcting and grading at all. And mistake 16 is overdoing the color correction and grade. I know it's a very subjective topic because what looks good to your eye might not look good to your friend's eye, but there are some general guidelines and looks that most people like. And just accept that learning how to color correct and grade is a long process. Start experimenting, be patient, be consistent, invest into online courses, find mentors and just enjoy in the 10 thousand hours long journey. Mistake 17 is not taking the time to learn keyboard shortcuts. In the long term, you are losing so much of your precious time. Using keyboard shortcuts will speed up your workflow a lot. Just learn them. You can even adjust them to your liking. Time is precious, so use shortcuts. And well, this is it. If you can remember any other mistakes, please do share them in the comment section below. And if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more. I really appreciate you watching my content. More is coming soon. I've actually just finished filming the review of the new Zion gimbal. So yeah, I will see you in the next video.